In this tutorial, we're going to see how to print tables. For printing your table, you have two different ways. The first and most simple way is to go to the print view in the edit button, print view, and this will print the view that you have now. So if you want to create a filter here, you will just have to select the filter and you'll, you'll be able to print it like this. So in the first, first example, you see that there are no filters. And in the second example, you see that the table has been filtered in the way that you wanted. Another way of printing the table is to create a master table or report table. In this report table, we create only one record. And here we link from the table that we want to print, so invoices. Now, all the invoices must be linked to this one record. In order to do that, we go back to the invoice table, go to update multiple records, and in records, we put a sign constant value one. This means that all the, the invoices that are here are going to be linked to this one record in the report table. You see now that all the invoices are linked here. Now we can create different types of, of filters. So for example, a start date and an end date. So in this case, we will want only the records with the, with the due date from 2018 to 2020. So between these two dates, we have four records and we want these four records to appear in the PDF. So here in the print layout, we see that the, the invoices are here. If they were not here, we could call them here in the invoice table, okay? And we can make it look better with this. And now in the table view, we added columns and here we're going to put the filter that we want. So when editing the columns, we need to select a date field or a number field. And here we will be able to create our, rec our record. So for due date, you see the due date is a, is a date field. So So here we just put the name, due date, and in the filter status we put not empty. So with this, it is going to show only the records that are filtered here. And with this, we can print our record. So if we print this, we'll see that it is a record with only those four items, the, the filtered items between 2018 and 2020. 